I think a couple of months ago, everybody just really felt like we were turning the corner. Now it just feels like, you know, almost like Groundhog Day all over again. Region-wide, you're at max or above max capacity. Uh, all the hospitals on the south side, hospitals on the peninsula, are operating at levels that they um, just haven't operated at in the past. I can only share what I see. I literally live in GICU, and 90% of our patients are not vaccinated. That tells me that the vaccine is working. Those vaccinated patients aren't coming to my ICU, and if they are, they're there for a short while or they're there for another reason. Here's the other thing too, is they're so much younger now. They're 40 years old, they're 50 years old, and these people come into the hospital, they are worried about the bills that they have to pay. They're worried about their, their husbands and wives and children that they cannot go home to because they are so sick. So that would be, I guess, my message to the community is don't wait until you've had a loved one or until you yourself have had to go through this before you start thinking about the vaccine. Go ahead and, and again, I recognize there's a lot of nuance to why people want to get it or don't want to get it. I don't want to talk about that. I'm just telling you my experience is that these patients get sick and the vaccine keeps you from getting sick. It doesn't mean you're not going to get it, but your symptoms will be much, much milder, much lower chance that you're going to end up in the hospital on ICU. I think the community needs to know that we are doing the best we can. We are so committed to providing the best care. Well, nurses are amazing. They are wonderful, um, but they are struggling. Um, they're exhausted. Because we're nurses and just because of the type of people that become nurses, we're banding together and you know we kind of pump each other up and keep each other uplifted. So I would ask the community to be patient with us. Um, we are working really hard on saving your family and your neighbors and your loved ones and working really hard to fight against COVID. We have the vaccine, we have masks, we have things that are able to keep us safe and hopefully lower the numbers and then we can finally beat this.